Hello, how to evaluate with a calculator? 3 power 16 minus 3 power 12. So, what we can do is we are going to express this 16 here as product of 4 times 4. And we also express this 12 here as product of 4 times 3. We have 3 power this is 4 times 4 minus 3 to the power of this is 4 times 3. Now, if you have a power n times m, this equals a power n or to the power of n. Applying this identity right here, we are going to have 3 to the power of 4, and this is raised to the power of 4 minus 3 to the power of 4, and this is raised to the power of 3. So from here, we are going to find out what is 3 power 4. 3 power 4 is simply 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And this is 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, this is 81. So we are going to have 3, 3 power 4 is 81. So let's replace this with 81 to the power of 4 minus, this is 81 to the power of 3. Now from here, I can express this 4 as summation of 3 and 1 because we have 3 here already. We have 81 to the power of 3 plus 1 minus 81 to the power of 3. Now, if you have a power n plus m, this equals a power n times a power n. Applying this right here, you are simply going to have 81 power 3 times 81 power 1 minus 81 power 3. So right from here we have 81 power 3 here, we have 81 power 3 here. Let's factor that out. Of 81 power 3 times this divided by 81 power 3, we have 81 minus this divided by 81 power 3, we have 1. So from here, we have 81 power 3 times 81 minus 1. This is 80. So remember, we need to find the value of 81 power 3 times 80. And remember, 81 equals 3 to the power of 4, like what we did earlier on. So we have 3 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 3 times 80. So from here, if you have a power n raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. Applying this right here, we have 3 power 4 times 3, that is 12 times 80. So from here, I have 3 power 12 is, we can express it as 10 plus 2 times 80. Now, if you have a power n plus n, this equals a power n times a power n. Applying this right here, we are simply going to have 3 power 10 times 3 power 2 times 80. So right here, we have 3 power 10 times 3 power 2 is 9 times 80. So what is 3 power 10? This we can express it as 3 power 5 times 2 times 9 times 80. Now remember, if you have a power n times m equals a power n all to the power of m. Applying this right here, we simply have 3 power 5 raised to the power of 2 times 9 times 80. And what is 3 power 5? 3 power 5 equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. This is 92781. This is 243. We have 243 raised to the power of 2 times 9 times 80. 
So what is 2, 4, 3, power 2? We have 2, 4, 3, power 2 equals 2, 4, 3 times 2, 4, 3. 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 4, 12 to carry by 1, 3 times 2, 6 is plus 1, 7. 4 times 3, 12 to carry by 1, 4 times 4, 16 plus 1, 17, 7 carry by 1. 4 times 2, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. 2 times 3, 6, 2 times 4, 8, 2 times 2, 4. 9, 4, this is 20, 0 carry by 1 arc here. This is So you add 2 to this, 9, 11, 11 plus 8, that is 19. And grab on arc here, this 5, 90, 4, 9. All right, so we have, this is 5, 90, 4, 9, times 9, times 80. So right here, we can multiply this out. 5, 90, 4, 9, times 9. Let's concentrate on these two first. So we are simply going to have 9 times 9, 81, 1 carry over 8, 9 times 4, 36, 36 plus 8, 44, 4 carry over 4, 9 times 0, 0, 0 plus 4, 4, 9 times 9, 81 again, 1 carry over 8, 9 times 5, that is 45, 45 plus 8, that is 53, 5, 3, 1. Four, four, one. So the next step will be to multiply this by 80. So we have 5, 3, 1, 4, 4, 1 times 80. So let's multiply that out. We have 0 times 1, 0, 0 times 4, 0, 0 times 4, you give. 0, 0 times what? 0, 0 times 3, 0, 0 times 5, 0. We proceed to 8, 8 times 1, 8, 8 times 4, that is 32, 2 carry over 3, 8 times 4 again, 32, 32 plus 3, 35, 5 carry over 3, 8 times 1, 8, 8 plus 3, 11, 1 carry over 1. 8 times 3, 24, 24 plus 1, 25, 5 carry over 2, 8 times 5, 40, 40 plus 2, 42. So from here, we are going to add up this together. This is 0, this is 8, this is 2, this is 5, this is 1, this is 5, this is 42. So you are having 42,515,280. So our answer for this, without the use of calculator, is simply we have 42,515,280. I believe I'm right. All right, so that is it without the use of a calculator or whatsoever. Now, a quick recap of this is simply the first step. You express this as product of 4 and 4. This as product of 4 and 3 because we have common term here that is 4 and 4. Then you apply this in this law, a power n times m equals a power n or power m. Applying that here, you have here, you have here. So you are going to be left with. 3 power 4, that is 81, 3 power 4, 81, then you have 4 and 3, so you have 84, 81 power 4 minus 81 power 3, you express 4 as product, as sum of 3 and 1, because there is 3 here, you apply this other identity, a power n plus n equals a power n times a power n, in which you have this and this, then you factor out 81 power 3. Have we seen that? When once you factor out 81 power 3, then you subtract 1 from 80, so you have 81 minus 1 times 81 power 3. From there, you express 81 as 3 power 4, then you multiply the exponent, that is 3 power 12 times 80. 
if you know the value of 3 power 12, you insert it directly. But if you don't know, you express it as, as 10 plus 2, I mean the exponent. Then 3 power 10 is simple. That is 5949. If you know it, you use it times 9 times 8. See, that's exactly what we did here. 5949 times 10 times 80. You multiply out and you get your answer. So that is it, guys. That is it. That is it. That is it. Thank you and see you again.